Good morning, good morning. This is Kelly Frick. I'm Kelly Frick, your wellness and transformation coach. I am here, another beautiful day. I'm here to share with you about hope and healing on your health journey, right? As always, through the powerful tools of our mind, body, eating, and movement, and living, as well as through our essential oils, how to be able to use our essential oils, as well as practicing EFT or tapping for short. Today, I want to talk to you about mastering your metabolism. Oh my goodness, so our metabolism, it consists of so many different things, right? Um, so if you wanna learn more about your metabolism, you know, shoot me a thumbs up down below so that I can know that we're definitely hitting what you're wanting to talk about, whether you're catching this live or catching the replay. Um, our metabolism, it consists of things like, things that affect it are our hormones, thyroid, different things like that. But think of your metabolism as energy okay it is energy did you know that we consist of 99.9999 something percent energy we're not just matter so many people think that we're matter that we are just matter and we're not we are predominantly almost a hundred percent energy so and our metabolism is energy and energy needs to flow it needs to be able to move so let's take a look at what are some of the things, what are some of our pillars that affect our metabolism. So we're gonna talk about four pillars. We're gonna talk about food, first food, and then sleep and stress. We're gonna talk about movement and exercise, and we're gonna talk about supplementation. So our absolute total basis, right, our, our main, main pillar, um, our foundation is our food. Look at food as as energy food as medicine we need to go there first and the more alive our food is the more energy it it is so when we are eating a predominantly plant-based whole food and raw type of diet or even you know slightly steamed and all that stuff then the energy is still contained inside of that food right and so um and also something that we can look at that is kind of a little biohack is look at some of our amazing doTERRA oils, our precious oils that are derived from food. They're all derived from plants, but they're derived from food, especially some of the citrus oils um, or all the citrus oils are all plants, right? Um, so that is food. That is something that you get to build with your building blocks of your food as medicine. So when we're fine tuning our high vibration foods, then we're able to lay a really good solid foundation for our metabolism. But then another building block, another you know pillar to our metabolism is our sleep and our stress. So our sleep and our stress um, definitely affect our hormones. They affect our insulin. They affect our thyroid, our adrenals, our memory, so many different things, all right? So um, when we're not addressing and, and making sure that we're getting that targeted sweet, stuff, sweet spot for our sleep, then it's gonna elevate, it's gonna create all kinds of, of havoc within our body, and it's going to affect our metabolism. Then our third pillar is our movement and our exercise. Now this, if our sleep is not good, first let's talk about movement and exercise is actually stress on the body, all right? But it is a good stress. So we talked about the second pillar being sleep and stress, addressing those, making sure that we're getting those, you know, really good and, and fine tuned and in healthy ranges and all that stuff, right? But if our sleep, and our environmental stresses aren't being targeted really well, then our movement and our exercise is going to end up being bad stress. It's gonna be an added layer of stress to our body, which is then gonna affect our metabolism. So here, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we are targeting our sleep and our stress, right? And then our movement and our exercise needs to be something that you enjoy, that you love, so that you are getting your heart rate up, you're being able to get good oxygen flow, you're able to build some muscle, and we're talking lean, strong muscle that's gonna help be healthy for your bones, for your ligaments, for your longevity, for stability, for so many different things. And it also helps with brain health, super awesome. So another really great thing about movement and exercise is it helps elevate our mood. 
helps provide really great energy, helps provide positive thinking, especially during the winter months. Um, and when we have oils like Slim and Sassy, they help us also with our energy and with motivation, all right? Because of the blend, the Slim and Sassy having peppermint, lemon, uh, grapefruit, uh, cinnamon, all of these wonderful oils that combine together to create energy, create stability, create um, uh, uplifting of mood, just so many different things. Then our fourth pillar is supplementation. So remember supplementation is exactly that, to supplement. So we're talking food is our first, right? our foundation. But then sometimes we need to fill in these gaps, right? Where we need to be able to address some of the things, some things with our health that the other three pillars aren't fully addressing. You know, we're talking things that could be genetic, things that could be health conditions that are already going on, um, things that just kind of boost a little bit of the other areas. So when we have, um, when we've addressed our food and our sleep and our stress, our movement, our exercise, we are able to then fill in those gaps with our supplementation to be able to create those four pillars that. You can look at how they build off of each other, as well as how they create this circle, this cycle, how they also create our table, however you want to visualize it, to know that these four pillars are super important with mastering our metabolism. All right, if any of this is resonating with you, please drop me a comment, drop me a line. I want to be able to hear from you, whether this is live now or whether it is later in the replay. So if you wanna learn and understand a little bit more about food and medicine, or if you have any question, questions about your food as medicine, food as high vibration, drop me a line saying food, yay. Um, wanting to know more about our sleep, you know, or if sleep is something that, you know, you're really having challenges with, you know, put sleep with a thumbs down or, you know, sleep doing really great with hands up high, um, things like that, all right? Movement and exercise, put a, a, an emoji with a person, you know, moving, I want to learn more about some uh, some supplementations, how it can work synergistically with these other pillars and about your metabolism, all right? So we want it to be proactive and to take ownership of our health. We want to own our metabolism, right? We want to be able to know what is the way that's going to help us thrive and master our metabolism. And that's what I'm going to like really help us focus on this month because it's January, right? And we have so many amazing goals that so many of us are, are trying to hit and to be able to conquer. And we want to make sure that we are entering into this new beautiful year with an amazing mindset about mastering our metabolism. So I want to close, or before I close, um, I have a quote from St. Hildegard, which was an amazing, amazing saint. If you don't know much about her, um, I'll be sharing more and more of that this year, uh, who was truly a woman before her time, a woman who truly understood how food is medicine, how you know food is a healing component, for our bodies, how um, she went to plants, herbs, spices, things like that. Um, and I am convinced that she would be a huge proponent of essential oils if essential oils would have been back in her day um, because of, of her amazing writings. Um, she also was a huge proponent of stones and the healing power of stones, huge proponent of so many different things. So I look super forward to sharing more about her with you guys this year, but I'm going to close with a quote from her and it says, glance at the sun, see the moon and the stars, gaze at the beauty of the earth's greening. Now think what delight God gives to humankind with all these things. All nature is at the disposal of humankind. We are to work with it, for without it, we cannot survive. Isn't that beautiful? That was St. Hildegard. Beautiful, beautiful quote. And so I want to close again, as always, um, if this if this message, if this video resonated with you, please share it with somebody that you think would really uh, find value and uh, take and you know, be able to take something out of it. Um, 
Always, if you want to learn more and to receive some free resources as well as a free coaching session with me, comment below, private message me, or email me at kellyfrickconnect at gmail.com. And I look forward to visiting more with you, sharing more with you, and to be able to help you uh, find hope and healing in your health journey. You have a beautiful and blessed day. Take care and God bless.